Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of satellite communications. In today's class, we are going to learn about primary power test methods. Okay. So what are these primary power test methods? Okay. How this power is involved in transmission and reception of the signals between a satellite and a earth station we are going to see. Okay. So initially a primary power test methods or the primary power systems vary from, uh, from plain battery, normal battery, or it can be a solar cell operated remotely. Okay. Uh, for the transmitter, especially for data gathering. Okay. So this primary power systems, it may be uh, starting from a plain battery uh, till a solar cell, okay, which can be operated remotely for the especially used for transmitters for data gathering. Okay. Now, so in order to avoid like uh, uh, interruptions for the huge stations or in huge large earth stations, okay, we need to give a continuous power supply for that. Okay. So it can be a combination of commercial power supply or it can we can also use a diesel generator systems okay so most transmit and receive earth station requires kind of no break power system as i have already said in order to have a continuous communication between the earth station as well as the satellite okay there should be a no break power system like a power should be continuously given to this particular system in order to transmit and receive signals between the earth stations or between the satellite or the earth station. Okay. So emergency power uh, to continue the communication during the commercial power outages. So we need a power or the power system. Okay. So which can able to continuously give supply for the earth station in order to communicate with the satellite continuously okay so whenever the power commercial power or uh, some sort of power which are provided for these earth stations are uh, expired or outages okay we need to have a no break power system okay so simply primary power test methods are introduced okay so for continuous power supply for this particular earth station in order to communicate with the satellites okay there should be no break at all in providing power supply for this particular earth station in order to communicate with the satellites okay now what are these power ratio methods okay or the power test methods okay how the ratio is considered okay well, let us see now first we need to consider noise power ratio okay it is also considered as npr okay so earth station these earth stations with respect to the power they are typically provided with the complex test equipment okay so this particular equipment measure uh, several parameters like voltage power as well as temperature okay so there will be a routine so as we are giving a continuous power supply to this earth station for the communication purpose with the satellite okay we need to have a special equipment for this earth station okay in which we need to measure the noise power ratio where this noise in this noise power ratio npr okay we will be continuously or by a routine we will be measuring few parameters like voltage power and the temperature involved in this particular earth station uh, supply okay now it is sophisticated and specialized measurements which are unique to the satellite communication of course these measurements which we are uh, calculating it can be a voltage power or a temperature with respect to the power and the earth station okay it is mu uh, much more complex as well as these are very much important and specialized measurements okay for this particular satellite communication okay so this noise power ratio npr is the traditional measure okay so this has been continuing since longer period okay so for a kind of intermodulation in the communication fields now how to measure this particular noise power ratio okay now let's uh, assume two things okay one is the talkers and one uh, another one is the quietness okay now let's see where these talkers are considered and where this quietness is considered 
the quality of an individual voice channel is measured by first assuming that there are random talkers okay so we are considering several channels in this particular npr or the noise power ratio uh, concept okay in that one channel is separately kept of which is of 4 kilohertz frequency that is separately kept under the test and remaining all channels are measured okay with respect to the quality of an individual voice channel assuming that there are random talkers now okay uh, this individual 4 kilohertz channel which was kept under test okay it is measured for quietness okay so it is uh, measured for quietness using a narrow band notch or you can also call it as band stop filter okay so this is uh, this particular uh, channel which is of 4 kilohertz of frequency it is measured for the quietness whether there is any noise appeared in that particular channel or not okay remaining all channels are already considered as random talkers okay so that means there is some signal is going on or some voice channels are there something happening in that but separately the channel which was taken with a frequency band of 4 kilohertz and which is kept under the test that is specially uh, monitored for the quietness how much quiet okay uh, it is okay if at all there is any noise or not okay whenever there is uh, if at all there is any kind of power noise or uh, not okay so using a filter called band narrow band notch or a band stop okay so we are measuring the quietness of that particular channel which we have kept separately for the test which is of 4 kilohertz frequency okay and this is specially tuned receiver which measures the noise power inside the 4 kilohertz noise okay so how much noise power is present in that particular frequency band or the channel okay so that will be measuring that particular noise okay using a tuned receiver okay so we how to measure the noise power ratio means there are several no channels okay so these channels from that channel a single channel is taken as for a test now we are measuring the uh, power noise present in that particular channel okay now remaining all channels are considered as are uh, are measured with respect to the random talkers okay now whichever the channel we have taken for the test okay in that we are measuring the quietness how much power noise is in inside that particular band or that particular channel we are going to measure this can be measured using the quietness of this particular frequency band or the noise okay is measured using a narrow band notch or a band stop filter okay this is especially uh, uh, used by a tuned receiver which measures the noise power inside the 4 kilohertz a channel or noise okay now this is how to measure the noise power uh, ratio now coming to the g by t ratio okay here also uh, g by t ratio is much more considered as we are using an antennas for the transmission and reception of the signal okay this ratio g by t ratio this g by t ratio we have already seen in the previous sessions okay so let's again see what is this g and what is this t okay now the ratio of received antenna gain so antenna gain g is considered as capital g gain of the effective wideband receiver noise temperature okay so the ratio of received antenna gain g with respect to the receiving noise temperature okay so receiving noise temperature is considered as t okay capital t it defines the uplink cooperation and it gives services to for the special satellite network okay now how much antenna gain has been received okay or how much antenna gain has been produced at the time of receiving by the antenna and how much noise temperature has been received okay by that particular antenna based on that ratio okay at the time of satellite communication or the satellite network we are measuring this particular g by t ratio further 
g by t ratio is a figure of merit that indicates how reliable the uplink performance is for a radio signal transmission based on this particular ratio only we are going to estimate how much reliable and how much trustworthy or trustworthy is this particular uh, antenna okay can be measured okay for a particular radio signal transmission here as i already said g is the receiver antenna gain and t is the receiver noise temperature okay based on this ratio only we are going to see how reliable it is okay and how to measure this particular g by t ratio okay so this particular g by t ratio is calculated using a y factor okay so what is this y factor suddenly y factor is ratio of received noise power and the effective noise power okay so based on two things this y factor is uh, ratio okay one is the received noise power and the effective noise power we all need to remember that whenever you are transmitting or receiving the signal along with the signal there will be a power involved in it for the transmission or receiving of this particular signal okay now this g by t ratio is also calculated with respect to the y factor okay so y factor is the ratio is uh, uh, based on the received noise power and the effective noise power okay so uh, if we formulate uh, it it will be somewhat like y is equal to t plus t star by t okay now what is this t why we already know right okay why is the uh, received ratio of received noise power and the effective noise power okay now what is t here this t is the noise temperature of earth station okay noise temperature of earth station then what is t star t star is nothing but the effective noise temperature after transmission and before reception of g by t okay again t star is once again i am explain t star is nothing but the effective noise temperature after the transmission and before reception of g by t ratio okay so again here this g by t is again formulated as g by t is equal to y minus 1 into 8 pi r by 8 lambda square i mean sorry s lambda square okay so g by t is equal to y minus 1 into 8 pi r by s lambda square where s is the flux density you already know what is the flux density okay so you might have learned it in electromagnetic wave subject okay so this is how to measure the g by t ratio okay so let me clear this see primary power test methods there are several methods one is uh, the measuring of npr noise ratio noise power ratio another one is the measuring of g by t ratio okay and so primary powers we can explain it with respect to starting from a plain battery or it can be a solar cell okay for the transmission and reception of the signal by the earth stations okay so the ultimate goal for providing the power is without no break okay in order to have a good communication between the earth station and the satellite there should not be any kind of break of power with respect to this particular uh, earth stations okay so most of the earth stations will be provided some large generators or some uh, commercial power uh, kind of thing and all those things okay so it can be any kind of power which is supplied to that particular earth station or a satellite okay non breakable communication is very very important a continuous communication is very very important okay so based on what ratios we are uh, considering this primary test okay based on two methods or the two ratios okay so one is the noise power ratio and another one is the okay g by t ratio okay noise power ratio is nothing but it is continuously measuring the parameters like voltage power and temperature okay and 
and how it is measured means it's uh, a particular uh, channel is taken uh, a 4 kilohertz of channel uh, is taken okay and in that channel the quietness is measured okay so this particular quietness is measured using a particular filter what we call it as narrow band notch or band stop filter okay so this is nothing but a specially tuned receiver okay which measures the noise power inside that particular 4 kilohertz noise or a channel or it can be a frequency band okay now this is how to measure this particular noise power ratio okay so how much noise is involved in this particular power whenever you are communicating with some earth station or a satellites okay this is how it is measured and coming to the g by t ratio g by t ratio we have already seen it is with respect to antenna okay whenever it is receiving the signal okay what is the gain it attains and what is the noise temperature it attains we are going to see okay where g is the receiver antenna gain and t is the re receiver noise temperature okay so this particular g by t ratio is calculated based on y factor okay so y factor is nothing but the ratio of received noise power and effective noise power okay so where y is nothing but y is equal to t plus p star by t okay and y is the received noise power and the effective noise power t is the noise temperature of the earth station and t star is nothing but the effective noise temperature after the transmission and before reception g by t ratio okay so again the g by t is given as uh, y minus 1 into 8 pi r by s lambda square where s is the flux density okay these are the two methods uh, which we consider for the primary uh, power test okay